Lesson one, the basics of HTML. For this lesson, you need to have Notepad++ or Notepad open. In, the, in one of those pieces of software, you need to have the doc type template open that you'll find in the Tools and Resources page on my website. Also, in a browser, you need to have the lorem ipsum dummy text open. It's going to look something like this. And I'll show you how to use this in just a second. What we're going to cover is an introductory to HTML using some of the basic HTML elements to create a web page and save an HTML file correctly so that it'll open in a browser and learn how to open uh, HTML file in the browser. Okay, let's get started. So I just want to talk about the, the parts of an HTML document um, and you see it right here. <clears throat> well, for starters, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a programming language that's used to create web pages. Uh, every web page that you see on the internet is, is written with uh, HTML as its basis. Okay? Now, here's, I'm going to go through each of these parts. The first thing you see up at the top is what's called a doc type declaration. It tells the browser what version of HTML we are using to write our web page. If you don't have this, and if it's not the correct doc type, your web page won't display properly in a browser. You'll get a bunch of um, things out of place, and it just won't look right. This one, if I highlight this little piece right here, it says XHTML 1.0 strict. That is the doc type that we're using. There are all sorts of different doc types. If you're really interested in what, that, what they are, you can go to the W3 website and read up on doc types. But for this class, you're, you need to know that we're using XHTML 1.0 strict. We're always going to be using it. The next thing that you see is the HTML tag. It opens, and you'll notice that they're both highlighted purple. It closes. That's a matched set. If you open it, you need to close it. HTML uh, tag tells the browser that everything in between these two tags should be interpreted as the HTML language. Okay, So everything in there is HTML. The next tag set you see is head. You'll notice it, it's highlighted to open, highlighted to close. Inside the head you're going to find a bunch of information. The first thing that you'll find is the title. The title of the page is a bit of information that's going to show up at the top of a browser. If we look at our web browser up at the very top on the blue bar you'll see it says Lessons, CSI 1020, NHCC, dash, Mozilla Firefox. This is the title line. Okay. The purpose of that is first of all to tell users what page they're on and also to tell search engines how to find it. So search engines search for titles. So you always want to have a very descriptive title when you're making a web page. Other things that you'll find in the head below here, later on you're going to find something that looks like this. Okay, And it'll be a style sheet. We're going to get into that probably lesson three or four, maybe lesson five, we'll see. But um, you don't need to worry about that for now. The head also contain, contain a whole bunch more information that's used by search engines to find your website. All we're going to be covering in this semester is the title and style sheet in the head. Okay, the head closes and then we move on to body. Body is where you put all of the content of your website. Content is things like text, pictures, videos, uh, tables, spreadsheets, graphs, charts, anything that you want to be displayed in the browser. That's the body. Okay, So that's the bare bones of our web page. Every web page starts out like this with doc type, HTML opening and closing, head opening and closing, title, and then body. I call this the skeleton. Alright, now I'm going to start adding some content. Okay, So I want you to do this along with me. Just type hello my name is and then your name. Hello, my name is Charlie. Now we're going to save it and open it in a browser. So file, save as, 
and I'm going to call it practice three. Okay. And then I need to choose the file type. This is really important. If you don't choose the proper file type, it won't open up in a browser. We need to choose hypertext markup language, HTML. And it'll automatically give it the HTML extension. Save it. And now let's open it in the browser. If you're using Notepad++, you can just go up to Run and choose Launch in Firefox. Pretty cool. I like Notepad++ for a lot of reasons. This is one of the reasons. Another thing that you can do is locate that folder on your computer. And double click on it. Okay? It opens in the browser. Hello, my name is Charlie. Pretty simple, right? Okay. I'm going to show you how to use some other types of, of tags here. Let's get that lorem ipsum text. So go to our lorem ipsum web page. Um, right down here you can generate some lorem ipsum. Paragraphs, five, and I'm going to generate lorem ipsum. You copy it. Control C, bring it over to Notepad++, and then paste it in. Okay. It puts everything on one long line. If I display this in the browser, it's not going to look like you, the way you see it here. Run, launch in Firefox. Oops, what happened? I didn't save it. So I have to save it first, Control S bring it over to the browser, refresh, and it comes up as one long block of text. You might notice that in my code, in my markup, I've got spaces here. This is called white space. White space is not recognized by the browser. The, the web page is not going to be formatted as the way you see it here. In order to format it, to make it break up into paragraphs, I need to use a special tag. It's called the paragraph tag. Paragraph opens, and then it closes. I'm just going to save it once and then show you what it looks like after one paragraph tag being in there. So where the paragraph opened, it put a space above. Where the paragraph ended, it put a space below and separated that chunk of information from the rest of it. So if I go in and put paragraph tags, I'm putting some extra white space in here, you'll notice. Because I like white space, it makes code easier to read. I shouldn't call it code, it's actually called markup. I've got programming on the brain. So, finishing up all of my paragraphs, I'll save it, look at it really quickly. There's no spaces, refresh, and now it's formatted into paragraphs. All right, I want you to try that go back to my code, my markup, and you'll see. Just have your paragraphs of lorem ipsum stuff, put a paragraph tag above and below, above and below, above and below, where you want paragraphs to take place. Remember, the white space is ignored. If I take this out, save it, it doesn't affect the way it displays in the browser. Nothing changes. White space is just there to help us uh, more easily read the markup. Okay, so that's the basics of HTML. We covered the parts of the skeleton. We covered entering content into the body. And we covered some very basic formatting of that content using the paragraph tag. Next lesson, we're going to talk about more complex text formatting. Thank you for listening, and enjoy.